Guys, we need to talk again. Oh my god. What's that noise? What's that noise? It's the most reliable source news channel ever. Tell you news. Now you don't. Here we go. All right. Uh, elephant in the room. OJ Simpson died. Uh, what? I have a few. I have a few of these. It sucks that OJ died because he won't be alive when they find the real killer. Boo. <laughs> All right, the next one. The inventor of orange juice died? <laughs> when you beat murder allegations but not cancer? <laughs> Walter White be like, well, you, you did beat cancer. But not the murder allegations. Oh, so it's like the opposite. So OJ and Walter are opposite. Walter White and OJ Simpson, <laughs> two sides of the same coin. I'm looking to direct a new Netflix series about OJ, how to get away with murder but die of cancer. All right, that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Taylor Swift's new album drops in two days. I didn't care at first until I saw the title of the first track, Fortnite. Isn't it really? It's Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah, that? I, yeah, I remember <laughs> going through it and freaking out. Netflix is implementing an option where you can skip sex scenes in a movie or show. A button will appear on the screen that'll say, skip foreplay. This is a great option for when parents watch something with their kids and need to skip the sex scene. Until the kids ask, what's foreplay, mom? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, what the <laughs> fuck was that kid impression? Five homeless people killed themselves outside of Madison Square Garden last Friday. Imagine Dragons played Madison Square Garden last Friday. <laughs> and that is this week's That You News, Now You Down. Ooh. Watch any weird movies? Not weird, uh, but amazing. Truly amazing. And I'd like to shake it up this week. Basically, what we're going to do, we're going to do a nice little movie guessing trivia game of the century that's what we're calling it movie guessing game trivia of the century let's go uh and you are gonna play along okay uh use use yourself at home you could play along as well you are gonna get seven multiple choice questions okay if you get four out of seven of those questions you win this week's prize i buy your first drinks in vegas let's go however you lose. You buy my first drinks <laughs> in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Staring in the mirror. <sighs> For no. no! Oh, okay, yeah. So God. just the movie this week is called Triple X, 2002, starring Vin Diesel. Before we even start with the movie explanation introduction, we're gonna open with a question straight off the bat. Okay. What weapon slash object? is used for the first on-screen kill? Is it A, a weed whacker, B, a zip line, C, a TV remote, or D, dentures? Like your zip line. I'm gonna go zip line. Correct! Oh Correct! The movie starts uh, with a British spy. He's okay. in a full black jumpsuit and ski mask. Uh, we see a bad guy running up all creepily. Shoots a zip line, rides down the zip line, and double kicks the dude's face into a wall and kills him. Next thing you know, he takes a little key off the guy's body and then rips off his ski mask. And then a ton of bad guys show up and he looks directly down the alleyway where he's at, like revealing his face <laughs> to all the bad guys. <laughs> and then they're like, get him. He starts running down a the hallway. There's these like medieval doors that are locked. He like takes out like this little like power tool. It's like literally this big, but it's a chainsaw. Yeah, just zzz, and then he like breaks the lock by going down the door, opens it, closes the door, and then locks it. <laughs> After just breaking the lock like two seconds before, and the the Russian bad guys like try to open the door, and they're like, "No, it's locked." <laughs> it's like it's so good, and then they kill him, and then oh no. Your British, your British spy, your superstar is dead. Uh, so what was the point of the ski mask in the first place? If he no dies? fucking clue, dude. Really I was died? losing my mind. What? But after he dies, we cut back to the NSA. Basically, the leader of the NSA is like, everyone who we train fucking sucks. 
Yeah, we need a, we need an outlaw. We need an outcast. We need one of them. Pretty much. We need a Russian. No, like or just a, a regular, a guy. bad guy. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Then we get the introduction into Vin Diesel's character. <laughs> we some rich white dude in a Ferrari hops out of his car and he's like, "Hey, you fucking Mexican, uh, park my car!" Like literally, just like blatant racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it pans up to Vin Diesel and he's like. I ain't no Mexican. <laughs> like, pretty much. Which is still yeah. racist. Yeah. He just, <laughs> I'm not one of those yeah. guys. Vin Diesel hops in the car, drives off, sprints off, and he's like, hey, that dude's stealing my car. Hey, that dude's a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> and you see hey, him driving. stealing my car. Uh, he's Mexican. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Everyone cares now. Vin Diesel, he's driving off. All of a sudden, he pulls off to the side of the road. There's like a little party crew, and they start working on the car. It cuts to the cops. Then it cuts back to Vin Diesel driving the Ferrari, and there's cameras strapped all over the car. And you find out Vin Diesel runs a TV show or like a vlog. What the like? Fuck? It starts out and Vin Diesel's like, "What's up, everyone?" And then he says the catchphrase of his show while he's he's driving this Ferrari. The cops are chasing him. Thought you news, no you don't. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So, what is the catchphrase? Of Vin Diesel's show. A. Fuck the past, eat some ass, and drive real fast. B. You've just entered the Xander Zone. Or D. Ain't no life quite like Nicky Boy's life. It's gotta be the last one. Incorrect! What the fuck? It was what is it? B. You just entered the Xander Zone. What? <laughs> yes. His name Xander? His name is Xander with an X. Oh, I should have. Ah. <sighs> And now that he has entered the Xander zone, what what has all happened, what's the setup, is that the guy whose car he stole is some rich politician. How does he destroy the car? A, does he drive it off a bridge, start riding it like a surfboard for 10 seconds, and then parachutes off? B, he does a backflip off the car into a triple barrel roll. C, Tony Hawk pulls up in a car next to him. He hops in Tony Hawk's car and then shoots the senator's car with a bazooka. The Tony Hawk thing seems so ridiculous that it might be it, but there's no way. I feel like I would have seen that. So I'm going to go with the first option where he rides the top of the car like a surfboard and then drives it into a river and parachutes. Correct! Let's go! Correct! However, the car that picks him up once he lands, guess who's driving it? Is it Tony Hawk? Tony dude? Hawk is driving the car. The Tony world? Hawk picks up my boy Xander after performing the greatest stunt of all time. And then later, later like basically it goes from Tony Hawk picks him up and he's like, yeah, that was freaking sick, to Xander's host in like a house party. He's like, nobody can touch me. Then the NSA break into his home. And touch him. Next thing you know, the NSA is like, we want you to work for us. You're a bad guy. And we need your skill set to understand the bad guys in Russia. Why do they have to crash the party to say that? <laughs> so basically, they're like, you have to work for us or we're going to send you to prison for what you did to the yeah. senator's car. By the so, way, like if he's filming the Xander show, like I was getting yeah, away. Yeah. No, the funniest thing, too, is the, the NSA boss is like, we, we got you for good. Like, you're going away for a long time. And then Vin Diesel's like, what do you have on me? <laughs> And he's like, you, like you remember that senator's car? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> how long ago was it? <laughs> Two days ago. <laughs> like, literally, just like his entire show is live streaming him, cr- like, committing crimes. <laughs> so well, I don't understand the line of like, you don't got anything on me. Okay, so Xander Vin Diesel accepts the mission, flies over to Russia or whatever European state. He lands, hops in a taxi. Now I'm gonna. This is the scene. Opens up taxi door, sits there. Two guys in the front. Vin Diesel goes, yo, what's your name, man? The driver goes, Ivan. Looks at the guy next to him. Yo, what's your name, man? Ivan. So you're both named Ivan? End scene. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just cuts away? Yeah. Ivan? What's your name, buddy? My name is Ivan. you both Ivan? Do you think there's like a deleted scene or like something that just didn't work out that the 
I don't, there, there's a couple times where there's some really awkward cuts. Or is this supposed to be like funny? Like, oh, they're Ivan. I, I, yeah, I think it's supposed to be like a humor thing. Oh my God. Like, okay. they're both named Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's good. Uh, so then basically the taxi takes him to the, oh, he's in uh, Czechoslovakia. That he takes him to the Czech police mm. and they're like, Okay, so the guy says, everyone in this club is either filthy rich or criminals. Then Vin Diesel says, I'll fit in perfect, except for the filthy rich part. (laughs) (laughs) So in the club, he meets some, like, Russian gang called Anarchy 99. They, like, let him in because they recognize him from his TV show. Like, one of the (laughs) Russian guys is like... This guy superstar in the states, <laughs> and they're like <laughs> surfboard, oh! surfboard on top car. <laughs> Xander's like in the crew now, and then he <laughs> finds out that they're building some secret weapon. He goes back to the NSA. All right, they're building some crazy weapon. I need, to, I need some weapon upgrades myself. Which of these weapons slash gadgets is Xander issued to help stop the Anarchy Ninety Nine? A, a gaydar. B, a dart gun, which houses a laxative so strong you die from an exploding asshole. C, binoculars that make clothes see-through to look at attractive women naked. Or D, a cyborg pit bull that can talk, voiced by Ice Cube. I feel like this is the type of movie to have some like weird sexual thing, but I'm still going to go with the dog. Incorrect. You were right. It was C binoculars that make clothes see-through to look at attractive women naked so how how does that stop anything basically what happens here is the guy's like showing him dart guns and then he's like check these bad boys out they're x-ray binoculars and he looks at like a, a female agent on a shooting at the range and then it adjusts so that all her clothes are off and she's naked and then he's like pretty fucking sweet gotta save these for later god Checking you out, man. I got hang on to these. Oh, what the it fuck? It is just the, <laughs> it's just it's the just grossest like, thing ever, dude. That, dude. Yeah, well, that, that's such like that's sexual harassment 101. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, no shit. It's so 2002 where it's like, you know, the guys in the theater were like, I wish I had a pair of those. <laughs> so basically, what happens with these binoculars is he shows back up to the Anarchy 99 headquarters. He used the binoculars to find the super secret evil weapon. What is that evil weapon? A generator which sucks all of the air out of Earth's atmosphere. B, a solar powered submarine that launches toxic gas. C, an alien virus that makes people break dance till they die. Or D, a specialty skateboard that if you grind, it activates a nuclear bomb site. Since Tony Hawk's in it, I'm thinking it could be that, but it's so stupid. I'm going to go with that, I guess. Incorrect. What is it? It is a solar-powered submarine. <laughs> it's a solar-powered well, yeah, submarine. How is that possible? <laughs> that, That's so <laughs> counterintuitive. Uh, Xander goes back to the NSA. He's like, they're going to kill everyone. <laughs> and the NSA is like, we can't stop them. They have a communications tower. We can't get into base unless we destroy the communications tower. So which of these actions is a step in Xander's plan to destroy the communications tower? Parachute off a plane and land on a mountain with a snowboard. Is it B, launch grenades to create an avalanche? Is it C, hang on the comm tower like Jesus on the cross? Or is it D, all of the above? I'm going to go with the first one. You are incorrect. It is a D, all of the above. (laughs) He jumps out of an airplane, snowboard already strapped to his feet, lands on the mountain, unhooks the parachute, starts riding down the mountain all badass. Then he spots a ton of enemies on snowmobiles. So he's like, I know what to do. Pops two grenades, throws them behind him. Blows up, starts an avalanche. That's cool, though. That's kind of cool. <laughs> right in the avalanche down, kills all of the bad guys, and then uses the avalanche to jump up to the top of the comm tower and hang on it like Jesus. The avalanche breaks the comm tower, and then that's how the comm tower is destroyed. 
And then the NSA and Xander break into the underground layer. They're trying to go through, and all of a sudden they're pinned down by a sniper. This guy's like a character in the Anarchy 99. Literally, his only character trait is that he smokes cigarettes. Okay. So they're pinned down by a sniper. Vin Diesel looks over, and to one of the Prague police, he's like, Dude, you have a bazooka? The officer goes, It's not the bazooka. It's a heat seeker rocket. And then Vin Diesel grabs it, looks at it, goes, Heat seeker? Light this thing up. He aims it, shoots the rocket, and the rocket's like, Shh. And it finds the guy. The sniper is like, Oh! <laughs> My cigarette. It's, the heat seeking is tracking the cigarette. <laughs> So he throws the cigarette? Or no, he just, he just dies <laughs> <laughs> smoking the cigarette. And then after he it's blows up... It's like a up, commentary of, like, don't smoke. No, but... And then after he blows him up, Vin Diesel goes, I always told them smoking would kill him one day. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that cigarette would kill him one day. <laughs> Fortnite! Dude, I was, Fortnite! I was freaking out, bro. I was freaking out. Oh, my God. Bro. Fortnite. Oh, 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 oh. I, I thought you were just yelling it for no reason. I was like, what are you... <laughs> it's like, oh, another episode. Yeah, I forgot that, that that was our wallpaper. So I literally thought you were just yelling Fortnite at me. I had no clue. <laughs> it's so funny how, like, we say Fortnite so often. Yeah, that it's not... That you're not phased by <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> we say that just so often. <laughs> so one thing, too. You know how I said they, they call it a submarine? Yeah. It's not a submarine. What? It it drives off in the water. It's above water. It's just a boat. <laughs> it's just a boat. Titanic <laughs> three. It's literally <laughs> just, just a boat. Anarchy. Vin Diesel's like, we gotta get it. Him and the you know token hot girl of the movie. The nude girl. Yeah. D- drive off. <laughs> we gotta get it. We gotta <laughs> He's wearing binoculars every time he talks to her. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, to stop the missile from launching. Uh, he can't figure out how to turn it off. And so when it's about, it like rises up about to be like deployed, like ready for shooting out. What he does to, to foil the plan is he takes out the rocket and puts it in upside down. <laughs> so it <laughs> fires into the water <laughs> and kills the gas because the gas can't survive water. <laughs> so literally like think like a, a rocket head is like about to shoot out and he literally goes, huh? Uh? <laughs> and, then, and then it shoots underwater. This is physical comedy. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was fucking hilarious. Welcome to the Xander Zone. And literally, like, it shoots underwater, it explodes underwater, and then Vin Diesel washes up. And he's like, ah, and they're like, he survived. And uh, oh yeah, God. that's the movie. The two sidebar questions were what was the Rotten Tomato score above or below 40%? And it is actually 48% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> uh, and the other small side question was uh, who plays the NSA uh, leader? Who's the boss of the NSA? I'm going to have you try to guess it. It's a MCU actor who has worked with Tarantino. Oh, Samuel L. Jackson. Correct. What, dude? Correct. Another Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. You know? No, dude. <laughs> I was losing it. Two Samuel I was losing L. Jackson. It, dude. I did appreciate how I didn't have to deal with like themes of like you know terrorism and war crimes. Torture. Yeah, this was just like let's put the missile in backwards. That's my movie trivia. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, put down in the comments your score. By the way, guys, for the future, we need a talks. Um, we're going to be doing a segment where we shout out artists. So if you want to do fan art related to either like Aaron and Joe or like the show, like drawing a lava lamp. I don't know. Just doing anything creative and artistic. <laughs> Draw the lava lamp. Um, if you want to submit your art um, and like we'll shout you out, we'll shout, um, let's say the top two artists of the week. Yeah, we'll put like your Instagram or whatever you want to promote. So. To the email on screen, submit the art and also what you want us to, like your main tag, if you want us to like tag your Instagram or Twitter or whatever. And if we don't even get two submissions, we're selling out. We're going to AI. We're going to <laughs> AI, Aaron and Joe art, okay? Yeah. That's how desperate we're going to be if you don't send some shit in. Also, um, yeah, feel free to support our Patreon. You get more content on there as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Goodbye.